Hey, word wizards, who's ready for some English magic? Let's conjure up some linguistic fun together at Snopey English. Today, we are going to learn school life expressions about using the school library. The first key expression is, can you help me find books for my history project? This sentence is used to request assistance in locating resources in the library. The second key expression is, what topic are you researching? This sentence is used by a librarian or teacher to understand a student's research needs. The third key expression is, can I borrow these books for a month? This sentence is used to inquire about the library's borrowing policy. The fourth key expression is, you can access them from any computer. This sentence provides information on accessing digital resources available through the library. Mrs. Vivian, can you help me find books for my history project? Sure, Andrew. What topic are you researching? I'm working on the American Civil War. Let's check the history section. Follow me. Thank you. Do you have any recommendations? Yes, I'll show you some key books and online resources. That's great. Can I borrow these books for a month? You can borrow them for two weeks, and then renew if needed. Perfect. How do I access the online resources? I'll give you the login details. You can access them from any computer. Listen to the following main sentences repeatedly and become familiar with them. Let's listen to the conversation between the two people. Miss Vivian, can you help me find books for my history project? Miss Vivian, can you help me find books for my history project? Listen again with subtitles. Miss Vivian, can you help me find books for my history project? Miss Vivian, can you help me find books for my history project? Listen carefully without subtitles. Miss Vivian, can you help me find books for my history project? Okay, let's listen to the next conversation. Sure. Andrew, what topic are you researching? Sure. Andrew, what topic are you researching? Listen again with subtitles. Sure. Andrew, what topic are you researching? Sure. Andrew, what topic are you researching? Listen carefully without subtitles. Sure. Andrew, what topic are you researching? Okay, let's listen to the next conversation. That's great. Can I borrow these books for a month? That's great. Can I borrow these books for a month? Listen again with subtitles. That's great. Can I borrow these books for a month? That's great. Can I borrow these books for a month? Listen carefully without subtitles. That's great. Can I borrow these books for a month? Okay, let's listen to the next conversation. I'll give you the login details. You can access them from any computer. I'll give you the login details. You can access them from any computer. Listen again with subtitles. I'll give you the login details. You can access them from any computer. I'll give you the login details. You can access them from any computer. Listen carefully without subtitles. I'll give you the login details. You can access them from any computer. We've looked at the key expressions so far. Let's remember the key sentences and listen to the entire dialogue repeatedly. Mrs. Vivian, can you help me find books for my history project? 
Sure, Andrew. What topic are you researching? I'm working on the American Civil War. Let's check the history section. Follow me. Thank you. Do you have any recommendations? Yes, I'll show you some key books and online resources. That's great. Can I borrow these books for a month? You can borrow them for two weeks, and then renew if needed. Perfect. How do I access the online resources? I'll give you the login details. You can access them from any computer. Was today's study useful? Don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button, and share. Goodbye everyone and see you next time.